Hello everybody, it's me Charlotte and today I'm going to show you another really fun easy beginner friendly stitch. It's called the slip stitch rib and as you can see it has this very nice raised like knit stitch rib here and then on the back it's stockinette. So you could say it's reversible. Um, I think this would make a very nice scarf. You could do a whole scarf in this stitch with like a variegated yarn. You could add some fringe. I think you guys could really have fun with this. Um, and like I said, it's really easy. It's a two row repeat and you guys are going to be surprised on how easy it actually is. Um, before we get into it though, I want to take a quick second to say thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, I will leave a link in the description below. Alright guys, I'm going to show you guys how to knit this very simple, fun, beginner-friendly slip stitch rib. <laughs> it's really fun. All right, today, today I'm gonna drop my needles on the floor because, you know, why not? <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, today I'm using yellow yarn and yesterday I used pink yarn, so today why not yellow? If you can't see it that well, I'm sorry. I will try my best to make it visible. <laughs> All right, for this stitch, you want to cast on multiples of three plus two. And if you are a beginner and you have no clue of what that means, I'm going to show you. Okay, your slip stitch or your slip knot counts as one. And you're going to do two and three. And you're going to do it again. One, two, three. One, two, three three and you're going to keep doing that until you have all the stitches you want on your needle and then at the very end you're going to add the plus two so I have three 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 now one two that was my plus two okay the first row of our two row repeat is going to be purl two stitches so we're going to purl the first two stitches easy enough and now we're going to put our working yarn in the back and knit one. So the repeat for this row is purl two. So one, two, and knit one. Purl two, and knit one. And you will end with a purl two. One, two. Okay, row two. Now, row two is going to begin with a knit two. So we're going to knit two, one, two, and now we're going to put our working yarn up front. We're going to go into this next stitch as if to purl, but we're not going to purl it. We're just going to slip it off the needle. Now we're going to take our working yarn and put it back in the back and knit the next two. So the repeat for this one is going to be knit two, slip one purl wise with working yarn in the front and then knit two. One, two, bring our working yarn in the front, slip that one purl wise and then knit the last two. And that's it. That is the whole two row repeat. So row one, again, I will go over with you one more time. You're going to purl the first two And then you're going to knit one. So essentially you're knitting the one that you slipped on the previous row. Again, you're going to purl two, one, two, and then you're going to knit one. Purl two, knit one. And you'll end with a purl two. One, two. And then on row two, go over this row with you one more time just to make sure you guys get it. I think you do though. It's not that hard. You're going to knit the first two. Then you're going to take your working yarn, put it up front, and you're going to slip that next stitch purl wise. And then you're going to take your working yarn and put it back in the back. And then you're going to knit two. Knit two. Sorry. Take your working yarn, put it up front 
slip that next stitch purlwise, take your working yarn, put it back in the back, knit the next two. And again, that's all you do. Working yarn up front, slip that one purlwise, put your working yarn back in the back, and knit the last two. And you just want to keep repeating those two rows over and over again until you have your piece as long as you'd like it to be. As you can see, we're already starting to get our little ridges. And when you go to bind off, you're going to want to bind off on a row one. So a row where you wouldn't slip any stitches. So that's a row one. You want to bind off on a row one. Um, I bound off just a regular bind off. Just a normal, like I've showed you guys before, where you knit two, slip that one over, knit the next one, slip that one over. Um, yeah. So that's it guys, and like I said, I think that would make a really nice scarf in a variegated yarn, or just a really nice yarn, add some fringe, you guys can use your imaginations, I'm sure you'll come up with something wonderful. But that's it for today guys, so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, that link will be in the description below. Until next time guys, I hope you all have a super wonderful, fabulous day, and happy knitting! Bye!